I am not even surprised. Listen to this. Guy. You want to hear a really wild stat, though? Yeah. We are the, at 193 countries, I believe we are number three in gun violence. Mm. Okay? But if you were to okay. take the five cities where there is the most gun violence, Chicago, Philly, I think Houston, Chicago, Philly, Detroit. San Louis. I don't know if it's L.A., but I think yeah, it is just share numbers. Yep. Yeah. All right. So it's all all these cities. If you were to take out the cities, with the, and they all have the strictest gun controls. Mm. So it's St. Louis, mm -hmm. Detroit. It's Chicago, it's Philadelphia, and I think it's Los Angeles. And they have the strongest, the very, very tight gun laws. Keep in mind, they are blue, I'm just saying, and not, you know, but if you were to take them out of the equation, we would not be the third, we would be the 189th. Wow. Hmm. That's pretty significant. That is pretty significant. But see, the question is, why don't they tell y'all these stats? We know through empirical data that most gun violence are happening in these inner city communities run by Democrats. And if they would actually do their job, hold people accountable, focus on the laws that are already on the books in their own cities, the country would not be perceived as a, a, a violent gun culture country. If you look at the amount of guns we have in this country, we have more guns than, than, than most other countries, especially with citizens, by far more than anybody that ever existed in the history of the world. But we do not have the most gun violence. It's mostly gang violence, 60% of, uh, of gun deaths or suicides. So when you put all that together, we don't have a gun issue. We have a Democrat issue.